and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Curtis Thompson, and this is Let's Play Shining in the Darkness. When we last left off, we went ahead and took our first excursion into the Cave of Wisdom and got pretty heavily damaged, but we did pick up a fire sword for the main hero, and I'm back to where uh, we left off in the cave, rather than recording the entire way back to where we left off. Um, but... I went ahead and checked back with the weapon merchant, and he did indeed have the Thorn Whip for Pyra. And I believe everyone gained a level on the way here. No, the main, no, the main, only the main hero and Milo did. But Pyra with her Thorn Whip does about the same damage as she does with her um, with her Wood Staff. But the, what the Thorn Whip does is it allows Pyra to attack every enemy in a group with her weapon using her physical attack so it counts as like a diet spell in that regard so it's very useful against large groups of enemies when we're trying to conserve MP uh, but otherwise no worse for wear we did have to use a healer fruit for each character to, um, once we got here but now we can go ahead and resume our journey into the cave of wisdom and already we're looking at well it's not too bad of an encounter now, the more attacks Pyra is able to make, the more the more chances she has... Well, 39 points to Milo. The more chances she have, has to miss these enemies, but also to critical hit, critically hit them. Because it counts as a separate attack per enemy. As opposed to a spell, which is guaranteed to deal some, some form of damage. But it's still nice. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Let's go ahead and take care of the Night Wraths. Ooh, not taking a whole new definitely not taking a whole lot of damage from Pyra's whip but we took out two of them anyway that's good and now Pyra's taking a lot less damage now that we got her that wood shield thankfully it's just now the main hero is getting beat up to you know a whole bunch but there's nothing we can really do about that at the moment not until we get at least get past the cave of wisdom there we go. So, moving right along. Once again, I'm worried about crushers. More smokes. Let's go ahead and deal with the smokes. Hopefully the blast will take care of them. Just enough, apparently. Good to see. And once again, I'm not worried about Jackal Butchers once they're by themselves, because they seem pretty, pretty derp-tastic in that regard. I'm pretty much expecting to run into at least one Crusher going down this hallway. Level one slow on Milo. Ugh. Only two of them. Let's see if we can take them out with physical attacks. They seem pretty magic. See, they were doing like... 15 damage to Pyro per swing. Now they're only doing 5 or 6. There we go. Yep, thought so. Um, quick, can we put you to sleep again, please? Yes. Thankfully, we can put him to sleep. Which means we might... Um, I want to see how Milo does on a physical attack, but Pyra, go ahead and just level 3 blaze the, th the darn thing. 446, nice, 24. Alright, that takes care of him. That seems to be a fairly reliable strategy, but I expect another one to pop up. Or Sea Stallion? Yep, Sea Stallion. Um, I kind of want to see... Pyra's not going to do that much damage. Uh, let's see what a level 3 blaze does to it, though. Only 28, because, yeah, it's made of water. Oh, wow, she's still taking 30 points of damage from a Sea Stallion. Oh, this is what I get for underestimating an, en uh, an older enemy. This is what I get. Well, at least, good thing we loaded up on these. Was not exactly looking forward to using them already, but that'll teach me to underestimate a Sea Stallion. No, that's not what I want. Alright, at least we have a good level of MP at this point. 
Uh, that leaves to, yeah, to that cell gate we saw. But we already got the item in there, so there's no, nothing to worry about. A pair of night rafts, let's take them out quick. Of course not. And they still get the level 2 blaze off. But at least they don't deal that much damage with their level 2 blaze. And Milo takes an 8-pointer to the face. Alright. Deal with him real quick. There we go. And we are on our merry way. Lots of maze runners. We are going to actually blast that. There we go. And then and then Milo can take care of the rest. Probably should be conserving Milo's MP since he can, has the good heal on him, but... Alright, moving right along. Uh, the pathway to our right leads to nothing. It's just got a whole bunch of green goo in it, and I really don't feel like wasting a bunch of MP for a dead end. Only six points to Milo, that's good. Oh, here we go. More sticky web. Alright, good, good, good. More sticky web. Alright, good. Everyone wiggles free of it. And already we're getting dividends out of that thorn whip of, of Pyra's. Once again, uh, route to our left is just a bunch of... Uh, let's go ahead and blast them. Once again, the route to our left is just more goo. That we really don't need to deal with because it's just a dead end. Oof. Not quite enough damage. But thankfully this is a surprise round, so... Pyro should deal with them. There we go. That Thorn Whip helped sa saving us M quite a bit of MP for taking these enemies out. Alright. What's in the box? Oh boy! I did not expect another one of these guys. Um, Quick, please. Um, can we put it to sleep? Maybe? Nope, unaffected. I guess you can't put ghosts to sleep. Please don't cast Diesel on Milo, please. We just got here. There it is! Oh! Main hero fell left lifelessly to the ground. Alright, time to show off revive. Blaze the damn thing, please. For 15 points, really? Physical attack on Milo for 29 points. Um, uh, everyone physically attack it since magic doesn't seem to do much. Another heavy hit on Milo. And Pyro takes it out. Oh boy, that was not what I wanted to see. That was definitely not what I wanted to see. Paranite Wraths. Much more manageable by comparison. With level 2 Blaze, not, nothing, to, nothing to really worry about. Ugh. I hate Diesel. I hate it. Alright. This is the area the map 2 was warning us about, but I already have a map of my own. So we can just navigate through here without any problems. Cockatorus. Uh, I believe... I don't know if they do much of anything. They might have a peril, paralysis skill, but otherwise they're not... They're not too threatening. They probably just hit a little harder. Let's see what they do. Seven points to Milo, not bad. Uh, nine points to Milo, not bad. 12 points to the hero, not too not too bad. 8 points to Pyra, okay. Not too terribly worried. Alright, there we go. 
Pyro goes up a level, 4 hit points, 6 magic points, 5 IQ, 5 speed, 3 luck, 2 attack, 3 defense. And she and uh, Pyro gains heal level 2 and learned the boost spell. Yes, I'm so excited about this. The boost spell increases the physical attack strength of a character. Guess who we're probably going to be casting that on? Ad nauseum. The main hero, you guessed it. Alright. Considering the last surprise, let's go ahead and heal some people up. Alright, what's in the box? Is another ghost? Steel Saber. Um, you've got a spare magic point. Let's ca- This weapon could be used by either Pyro or the main hero. No special properties. I don't think we'll find much use for it. Um, let's take a look at that. Main hero. That's a 35 decrease. Um, uh, Pyra has the thorn whip equipped, but I want to see how, how much of an increase it is for her. Oh, so it's exactly the same. So the thorn whip is still far better. So... That's good to know. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take this turn here. Avoid that trapdoor there. Go all the way. Oh. We can tank some damage. I don't want to, but... We kind of need to conserve some MP here. Nine-pointer, and another nine-pointer. Alright. As long as they don't do their ice breath, I'm okay with it. There we go. Oh, no, not... Please don't cast a whole bunch of blaze spells in my face. Okay, they were content with just doing physical attacks. They seem a little resistant to the thorn whip, though. There it is. 11, 10, 12. And another blaze, too. Oh, thank you so much. Just what I've always wanted. I'm gonna try my hardest to get to the end of this cave, but of course! Okay, they only had enough for one cast. Alright, ignore the first turn, then come to this turn. Wow, I don't want that many blaze spells in my face, please. Hopefully this is enough. And once again, getting a lot of mileage out of Pyra's Thorn Whip. Oh no, it's not enough. We're about to take a lot of hurt. Gonna be a lot of hurt gonna go around. Oh, I should have had Pyra cast a spell. At least she's taking less damage from physical attacks, but the magic doesn't care. At least on our next turn, we'll wipe them all out, but... Uh... Yeah, you go, hero. Kill the one dude. Uh... Then Pyra will wipe out the rest of them. Oh, no! Missed one! My little take care of it. There we go. That was worth a hefty amount of experience points, but that was a lot of pain. Um, do I want to risk a peace spell? I want to risk a peace spell right now. I don't think it'll actually work, though. No, I'd rather just save the MP. Uh, yeah, that's a trapdoor right in front of us. So, yeah. Uh, more of these guys. Not, not terribly worried, honestly. Well, missed one, but critical the other, so I'll... Nice trade-off, at least. 
Yeah, they don't seem to have a paralysis skill. I think they just hit real hard. Um, if I recall correctly, there should be one more enemy, new enemy we'll run into in here. If I recall correctly. All right. No, 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 no. I learned my lesson last time. I learned my lesson last time. Just nuke the entire thing. I learned my lesson last time. Alright, that one we specifically wanted to fall into. So... We need to continue going this way. Oh! How lovely! We're going too quick, and can we put it to sleep again? That'd be great if we could. Yes! Alright. I hate making, it, you know, significant baddies like this utterly useless. I want to show them off. How hard, you know, how much of a threat they are. But, uh, at the same time, I don't want... I don't want to give them a reason to nuke my party. Um, uh, can we just physical attack it, maybe? For eight points. But Milo makes up for that. Nice. And the main hero will wipe it out. There we go. Sorcerers. There's what I was looking for. An upgrade to the Dark Wizards. I believe they cast level one bolt. We want to get rid of this right away. Um... The problem is, I'm pretty sure their magic defense is pretty high, so let's Thorn Whip them. And then hopefully the Blast will take care of the rest. Because I know their magic defense is pretty beastly. And of course missed the, uh, the last one. Okay, so the Blast is enough to take them out. Good. So we will only have to deal with one. Sorcerer for 10 points of damage? Okay. Oh, really? Kill the last one, please. There we go. Alright, that's good to see. 924 experience points. Main hero leveled up. 7 hit points, 3 IQ, 2 speed, 1 luck, 4 attack, 1 defense. Alright, let's continue on. Um, I'm actually more worried about the sorcerer, really. Alright, Milo gets rid of him. Alright, there we go. Stairs leading up, and now we are in the latter half of this cave. Uh, still, too, still more worried about the sorcerers. And that is, if they... They're just being all defensive and just hitting with physical attacks, apparently. I know you guys could cast level 1 Bolt. Just kind of curious if you're going to do it or not. Another 10 pointer. Milo goes up a level 6 hit points, 5 magic points, 4 IQ, 4 speed, 4 luck, 3 attack, 2 defense. Heal to level 3. Uh, even right now, level 3 heal is a tiny bit excessive. Oh boy. And well, we know how to deal with these guys. Level 3 heal is a little excessive at the moment. But it's still nice to have, especially for the next area we might end up going into. Oh, one managed to survive. The hero will take care of him, though. Cast level one bolt, there it is. For 16 points. Man, that's worth a lot of experience points. All right. We're going to go through here real quick. Oh! Two new enemy types. Awesome. Fungoids, they they spread a poison powder, which isn't nearly as bad as, para as sleeping or paralysis. Drifted, on the other hand, still does the same thing as um, the previous iteration. He still paralyzes people, so... We're going to have the healer, or the hero, deal with... 
gonna have the hero deal with the sorcerer and have Milo and Pyra kill the Drifid. Because I don't want anyone getting paralyzed. And got to attack anyway. Poison powder! Alright, get rid of the Drifid. Sorcerer, level 1 bolt at Milo for 17. 7 points. Alright, just have to deal with the fungoids. For 8 on Pyra, and there we go. Alright, we definitely want the item that's at the end of this. And there should be another item as well that we really want. Easy peasy. All right. Uh, at the end of that tunnel was the very beginning of this of this cave. Herb water. Can't do any really do much of anything with it right now, but it's nice to nice to have in the pocket. We might we'll probably sell it. I'm more worried about maze runners. Uh, we'll probably sell it for some cash, and then we'll pick it up. Uh, we'll pick it up later. Uh, for probably the end game content. Because if I recall correctly, herb water. I actually don't remember what herb water does. I'll find out in the next episode. Uh, more worried about the sorcerers. And apparently, Pyra does not like sorcerers either. Oh, of course not. Man, everyone's missing these things now. 12 points on the hero, and only 7 on Pyra. Alright, there we go. We do not want to go in the center of that. Alright, we're going to go all the way to the end, which means a little bit more goo. Well, okay, at least they were guarding the goo. Really not that worried about the cockatoruses. Cockatori, I suppose. I mean, yeah, they, they're dealing quite a bit of damage to our party, but it's still just physical damage, as opposed to magical damage, which could range anywhere between 10 points to, like, 40 points. There we go. We're going to go ahead and top off since we're going to be losing MP anyway. Uh, my, uh, mm. All right. We're going to go through here. Crushers? Any crushers? No, just more, just more giant turkeys. Giant killer turkeys. Waiting for another crusher to rear its ugly head. Alright. What's in the box? Mithril ore! There we go. Can sell that for a pretty penny or we can hold on to it for... Ugh. Um, kind of... We're almost to the end, but let's just... I kind of need to conserve some MP in case a particular Crusher decides to show up. So let's see what they do. 8 points to Milo. Watches warily. 14 points to the hero. And the hero will have none of your nonsense. Oh, sleep-inducing Grey Mist. I thought they did par paralysis, but... Sleep is infinitely better. You can't wipe out my entire party with sleep, thankfully. Alright, Crusher, bring it on. No Crusher there. More Drifids, though. Oh, I'll have to deal with like another sleep mechanic, but let's go ahead and take out the left side first. Does it affect? Does it affect? Pyro's fast asleep. Awesome. Doesn't affect, doesn't affect. Pyre's fast asleep. Alright, so Pyre's asleep. 
which isn't too terrible. Ah, oh, man, their physical attacks really hurt. And Pyro wakes back up. Uh, more afraid of the sorcerers, honestly. Should have had the hero take on the, uh, the other guy, though. The Maze Runner. But he didn't do that much damage. Level 1 Bolt? Nope. Take out the Sorcerer first. There we go. And the Maze Runner is going to go down. Another 6 points. Enough of your nonsense! Alright. Wow. They are bound and determined. Um... Let's get rid of the fungoids. Seven points to Milo, and another three points. Oh, I forgot they do that! Ah! They could divide it into two and, ma and make more of themselves. Whoa! 45 point critical points. 32 critical points. Ah! Everything in this cave. I hate everything in this cave. Oh boy. Big heal on the hero. There we go. I want out of here. Are you all each gonna do like 30 plus points as well? I'd rather you didn't. Okay. We are almost out of here, folks. Almost out of here. I'm expecting another crusher though. More sorcerers! Awesome! Uh, I'm just gonna take a bunch of bolts to the face. Level 1 bolt! For 16! Against the guy that just went? Really? 7 points... So they're being defensive, but it doesn't matter. Alright, get rid of them. Alright, waiting for another Crusher to show up. 5 hit points. Uh, Pyra gained the level. Uh, 5 hit points, 6 magic points, 6 IQ, 5 speed, 3 luck, 2 attack, 3 defense. Please, no more Crushers. Alright. Thank you. And this is the end of the Cave of Wisdom. You have done well. You have passed the Trial of Wisdom. If it is wisdom you seek, then step forward. All right, we have returned to the entry of the Cave of Wisdom. Trial passed Wisdom. We have passed all four trials. Let's get out of here. Uh, before we do anything else, let's go to the castle. And Melvin's not here. I've been waiting for you. How goes everything? By the heavens, you've really passed the trials of the ancients? Dear Tristan, I knew I was right in trusting your judgment. You're too kind, Majesty. Now, more than ever, it is up to you to return me, me my daughter. It is said that there are five above-ground levels of, to the labyrinth. Past the Unseen Demon, and between the pots of fire lies your path. That would be that door we can't do anything with. Not yet. Within the upper levels, you find the Arms of Light. You passed the trials? I truly underestimated you. Now all you have to do is rescue the princess. Luck be with you. So you've earned the right to enter the labyrinth proper. Your father would have been proud of you. Well done. Now you're free to enter the labyrinth proper. Have you seen Melville? He rushed out of here and we haven't seen him since. That's weird. Alright, let's... And you'll see that the trader is here. So the tent is open for uh, buying and selling things. The trader is pretty much going to be who we buy most of our equipment from from here on out. Because the trader can also... Uh, use mithril ore to get to make new equipment, but it's very, very expensive. Sorry, the tavern's closed. Oh, it's you! Come in, bring your friends in too. Guess what, Mr. Braxton Miss, Mrs. Mister here. They tell me that Milo and Pyra ran away from home to join you. It seems they've been worried sick about the kids. Can I just... Pyra, you don't know how worried I've been. Come here this minute. Whoa, there is no reason for that! 
Wait, Miss Fist, hold it. Just to hold on a minute. Please calm down. The young knight over there needs Pyra and Milo. Do you take me for a fool, Vic? Do I look that gullible? He's not lying. It's the truth. Tell her. Is it true? Well, yeah, it's true. We'll stick around just in case you, you need any help. What are you doing in a dive like this? Wow, no one else is in here, but apparently the place was closed, I guess? Looking for a room... Uh, yeah, looking for a room for the night? Yes, please. Alright. Back up to full strength. There we go. But now... Um, actually... What in the way of... We could sell the herb water and the mithril ore. I'll find out what the herb water actually does. I'm curious if it's a healing item or a resurrection item, but that's what the miracle herb is for. Um, everyone's still got their usual... Well, we could sell the, the saber. So we'll go to the trader. Herb water. 1650, that sounds fair. Mithra ore. 3,000 sounds fair. And that steel saber. 937, yep. Now, instead of the deals, he can do craft. We can use mithra ore to craft uh, new, uh, uh, new equipment, but it's very expensive. Or we can repair certain weapons, such as the flame, such as the fire sword, if it cracks. Let's take a look at what he has to offer in terms of weapons: uh, flail, bullwhip, short spear, double axe, bronze lance, battle hammer, and broadsword. What else do you have? Iron lance, steel lance, for a whopping twenty thousand. Alright, let's see what else he has. Armor. Uh, leather robe, iron armor, steel armor, and magic mail. I believe everyone can... I think Milo and Pyra can both equip the magic mail. But I don't know if we'll be going that far with it. But, um, yeah, some suitable upgrades for our heroes, finally. Shields. Iron Shield, Steel Shield, and Magic Shield. Magic Shield's the only other shield that Pyra can equip, I believe. Oh, boy. It's nice to be able to actually have upgrades to look at. Steel Helm. Uh, pilot. Well, we already know Milo can't equip the Bronze or Iron Helm. Aw. Uh, oh, decisions, decisions. Um, for starters, I know for a fact... We need... Let's go ahead and get Milo the Battle Hammer. Um... The hero just got a new weapon in the way of a fire sword. Um... Pyra's pretty good with her whip. Besides, like she can't equip... She can equip the short spear, but it's still worse than her whip. Thorn whip, so she's pretty good there. Actually, um, armor, um, leather robe for Pyra, I want to say. Um, for the hero... Oh, let's go ahead and pick up the iron armor for the hero. Which means we no longer need the bronze armor. Uh, no... Mm. I want to check if it's an actual upgrade or not before we do anything. The hemp robe is 
a straight downgrade, so. Alright, let's get everyone equipped and see what's what. Iron armor, wow, whopping 120. That's good to see. Might get the iron shield as well for the hero. Oh, whoop. Well. Alright, so 111, 126, definitely. Alright. And for Pyra, 127. That's good to see. 127. 118, 120. So now, well, Milo and Pi or Milo and the hero are both lagging behind Pyra, but that's just to be expected. So let's go ahead and dump the battle axe. Um, what did we say? We said an iron shield for the hero. Can Milo equip that? Oh, he can, okay. Pair of iron shields. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Madus. Um, good on weapons at the moment. Um, yeah, er, mm, yeah, that's that's not helpful. Armor. Can Milo wear the iron armor? Milo can't use that. Okay. Um, shield could sell. It could sell the iron shield we just bought and bought a steel shield, or hang on. Let's see how much the fire sword sells for real quick. That way I'll have an idea. Woo! 9375. So anything that's less than 9375 is basically going to be a downgrade. I'm not even sure if the Iron Lance is going to be good enough. Yeah, we may have to we may just have to stick with the Fire Sword until we can afford a Steel Lance. Uh, so yeah, that's going to settle everyone up in terms of weapons. Uh, 5980. You know what, we'll go ahead and do that for the hero. Get rid of the iron helm and get a, get a steel helm. All right. Now that we're done constantly looking at things, so. Iron Shield and a Steel Helm puts us at 131. That's good. One twenty-four. And Pyra's already got all of her stuff. So one twenty-seven on Pyra. One twenty-four on Milo. One thirty-one on the hero. That's good. That's really good. And the fire sword is one sixty-four on the fire sword. 111 on the Battle Hammer, 78 on the Thorn Whip. Alrighty then. So, two slots left. I think we can go ahead and get rid of the Smelling Salts now for 
um, more uh, more healer fruit. I'm not terribly worried about paralysis, but if it happens, it happens. Uh, that's the rune key. Do we need the rune key anymore? I don't. I don't remember if we do or not, but I'll go ahead and sell it anyway. We'll definitely be holding on to the Orb of Truth. Alright, so that's uh, three healer fruit for everyone. That's good. That's 900, so that puts us at 1700. Oh, no, we don't need that. Because we really need to load up on a lot of these items. Earlier I had said that we could probably avoid carrying so much once uh, Milo and Pyra's MP reserves got higher, but we really find ourselves spending more time casting offensive magic than a lot of healing magic. So loading up on them now is not so, so big of a deal. Nope, that's not what we want. Um, just in case. We know she has two... Uh, there's the Herb Water for 2200, the Magic Mirror for 3500. Each Mithril Ore is going to cost us 4000 plus probably another... 20-ish grand per item that we make. So we would basically need 25 grand to make one Mithril Ore item. She's got two Mithril Ores at the moment. Because she she showed us one as a deal and then she and then we sold sold one basically to her. So that's two items that we know we can do. I'd like to do four so we can give Milo because Milo can equip mithril armor even though it's made for the hero milo can equip it so we want to get at least four pieces of mithril ore uh, make them for the hero but then give them over to milo because he can equip them and that's basically milo's best armor i forget if milo's best weapon is made of mithril though i'll have to look that up all right that about settles it We did take a bit of an offensive hit by switching to better defensive shields with Milo and the main hero, but considering the damage we were taking in the Cave of Wisdom, I'm expecting to take a lot of damage in the Cave of in the cave in the Cave of Wisdom. So I pray that you'll be just as successful in rescuing the princess. You know, he says we're allowed to ask him anything we want about the Labyrinth, but we never get a prompt to do that, which is a shame. It feels like a wasted uh, opportunity there. But yeah, the um, the armor, unless any special deals come up, which I don't think will. I think we're waiting on one more Magic Hood, maybe. And But if any other deals come up, that might be important, but otherwise we're not going to really deal with the Weapons Smith or the Armor Smith anymore. So let's go ahead and save it. Uh, 4544, 59, Alright, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you see. Um, if you like, if you like the video, feel free to subscribe. If not, thanks for giving me a shot. I hope you all have an excellent day, and take care.